Derek was there, our parliamentary leader, everyone was there. We will fight till the last drop of our blood. That is our commitment to you. That we will make sure that Khasi and Gado languages get their places in the 8th schedule of the constitution after Trinamul Congress forms to power, comes to power. And we will raise it in parliament and we will, we will do whatever it takes. I have made this promise to you the first day we stepped in Meghalaya. And we stick to that. You see what the CM has done in the last five years. Derek was talking about a medical college. You know, there was talks about Shillong Medical College. But after five years, you have Shillong Medical College only existing in papers. You have the Tuda Medical College, the construction of Tuda Medical College is still in doldrums. You know how many medical colleges are there in Bengal? There are 23 medical colleges in West Bengal. And West Bengal has 23 districts. So if there are 23 districts, there are 23 medical colleges. There are 16 medical colleges which is run by the state government. And there are about 7 medical colleges which is run privately by private entities. So there are 23 medical colleges in West Bengal for 23 districts. I want to ask you today, how many districts are there in Meghalaya? How many districts? 12, right? So there should be 12 medical colleges. You see the work of double engine government. They mostly claim and brag about double engine, double engine model. There is not even a single medical college in the state. And this is perhaps the only state in the country which doesn't have a medical college. So people who want to pursue higher education, especially in the field of medical, they'll have to go to West Bengal. They'll have to go to Assam. They'll have to go to other states. I was talking about the incidents of Bukro. Like Meghalaya shares its border with Assam. Bengal is also a state. And Bengal shared its state border with states like Orissa, states like Bihar, and states like Jharkhand. Will anyone from Bihar, Odisha, or Jharkhand will have the guts to do something like what happened in Mukro in Meghalaya? Will they have the guts to do something like that in Bengal? They will dare not do. Because the Home Minister and Chief Minister of the state is Mamta Banerjee. You need a true leader. You don't need a person who doesn't have the spine and the courage to stand for its own people. Colleges to ensure that such a rich biodiversical place and Meghalaya is a place, especially Shillong, where we are conducting the meeting today. You have tourists from all over the country flocking in large numbers in every month of the year. What development has happened? The doc there are no doctors in the hospitals. There are no teachers in the school. Infrastructure is in doldrums. There is no employment opportunities. No special assistance has been given to the farmers. We have to take a call. And like I said, that we have to come out in large numbers and vote. Exercise your voting right. This opportunity that you have got in, 20, in the upcoming 27th of February, you will not get this opportunity in the next five years. And bowing down to the people sitting in Delhi and Gujarat and Delhi and Assam, your Chief Minister has not done anything. So this time, I would request all of you, when you go and exercise your franchise, keep this thing in mind, that do I want a coward, a spineless person who doesn't have the courage and spine to stand for me, my soil and my right? Or do I want a true leader who will stand for my right, protect my land and take on BJP head on and bring Meghalaya's lost glory back? You ask yourself this simple question, you'll get his house. He will dig out all the nasty things that his brother has done, his family has done. That is stopping him. You know how many notices has ED sent me? How many notices has CBI sent me? At least a dozens of them. I have gone to ED offices, come out of come out of ED office, and then challenge the BJP again. This is the difference. Trinamool is walking the talk. There are 1,700 political parties in the country, but when it comes to fighting for the people on ground, it is only the Trinamool Congress. No other political party in the country has the guts to fight and take on the might of BJP.